Welcome to our fourth CrowPy lesson. In this lesson, we'll teach you how to use the vibration module. So what is the vibration module? It's basically a module that, once activated, will vibrate very strongly. You can find this module on your mobile phones or other devices, maybe PlayStation controllers. So we'll use this module today to activate it by the CrowPy and make it vibrate strongly. So how is it going to work? We have positive pin and negative pin. The negative pin is connected directly to GPIO 13. We don't need to care about the connections and the pins as the CrowPy take care of all of that for us. We only need to remember that the vibration pin is located on GPIO 13. So by giving a GPIO out signal to the vibration module, it will vibrate strongly. Remember, GPIO 13, vibration module, GPIO out. Let's go and check this out. We're back to our CrowPy. Let's take a look on board first. Our vibration module is located right here. We'll control it using GPIO 13 and send the vibration signal. To control it, we'll need to use, do a slight modification. We'll need to use this switch this time to switch it on, so we'll be able to control the vibration module. As we know, we have so many modules over the Crow Pi, and not enough GPIO on our Raspberry Pi to control them all. So by switching it on, we're switching the position of the GPIO, so we can control more modules at once, at every time. So this time, we'll switch it on, just like this. Switch it up, all of them, like this. After switching them on, the vibration module should work by sending GPIO out to GPIO 13. Now, let's go to our CrowPy folder and find a file called vibration. Where is it? Vibration, vibration. Here, the last file. We'll open it using the ID by double clicking or right click open with ID. After opening it up, we'll go through the file and see what we can do. The first row, as we always mention, we need to import the RPI GPIO library, which controls the GPIO pins, and then the time library to make different time set for activating and deactivating the vibration. Then we set the vibration pin on GPIO 13. Then we set the mode to GPIO board. As a reminder, we always use GPIO board in our lessons and not GPIO PCM, which is also a mode we can use. Then we set the GPIO setup vibration pin to GPIO out, as we set an output signal and not input signal. Then we output signal to the vibration pin as GPIO high to make it turn on. We'll wait 3 seconds and then we'll turn it off by sending GPIO low signal to the vibration pin which is on GPIO pin number 13. After we finished all this, we need to remember to clean up our GPIO pins so we can use them for other modules next time. Let's activate the software and see what happens by clicking the green button run current script. As you can probably hear it, it's vibrating. And if you put your finger right here, when you're activating, you can actually feel the vibration very strongly. So this is how the vibration works. We look forward to see what you can do with it. Thank you for watching and see you in our next lesson.